Astrophysicist Natasha Hurley Walker was inspecting radio signals across large swaths of the universe in late 2020 when she and her friends fumbled on something they had never seen before. In a patch of sky that was controlled continuously over 24 hours, the scientists observed the entrance of a mysterious object that emitted a giant burst of energy every 20 minutes and then faded away after a few hours. In a statement, Hurley Walker, who is an astronomer at Curtin University and the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research in Australia, said, It was kind of spooky for an astronomer because there's nothing known in the sky that does that. The researchers reported the finding in a study published in the journal Nature. The statement is known as a radio transient, which applies to an object that periodically releases a quick glow of radio signals, as if it is switching on and off in space. The incidents have been seen before, usually as extremely quick events that flash on and off within seconds or milliseconds, or as longer pulses that last for many days. However, radio transients hadn't previously been detected, appearing and disappearing over a few hours. More research is required to figure out what's affecting the bursts of energy, but the astronomers think it could be a so-called magnetar, which is a particular type of dead star with an ultra-strong magnetic field. Hurley Walker said the odds of a repeating radio signal in space may cause some to think it's a dispatch from aliens, but she said the statements extended a wide range of frequencies, which suggests that they have a natural origin and aren't some unnatural signal. The search started in 2020, when Hurley Walker developed a team to map radio waves in the universe using the data obtained in 2018 by the Murchison Wide Field Array, which is a radio telescope in the Western Australian outback. Tyrone O'Doherty, an undergraduate student at Curtin University at the time, found the item by looking at Milky Way studies from March 2018 and May 2018 and scanning for differences. O'Doherty said he also hadn't expected to make an interesting discovery. He said, it really feels quite surreal to have found something like this. To confirm the discovery, Hurley Walker explored through the Murchison Wide Field Array's extensive libraries, which stretch back to 2013, to see whether the telescope had picked up any other activity from the object. She found that it had shifted on in the first part of 2018, radiating 71 flashes of radio signals from January to March of that year, before it switched off again. As she and her friends saw in their own observations, the pulses also came at normal intervals. She said, it's just every 18.18 minutes like clockwork. The astronomers assume that the object is about 4,000 light years away and that it is probably a slowly spinning magnetar that is somehow converting energy from its magnetic field into light that can be observed by radio telescopes. However, nailing the details down will require identifying the object when it's active again or finding the same objects elsewhere in the Milky Way. Kiyoshi Masui, an assistant professor of physics at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, who wasn't involved in the research, called it a fascinating discovery that demonstrates how much still remains to be understood about radio transients. Kiyoshi said, there's all this stuff that's just waiting to be found. Masui's own research concentrates on what's known as fast radio bursts, which are unusual single pulses of radio waves from other universes that have long amazed astronomers. Fast radio bursts clearly occur at random, emitting intense bursts of energy before disappearing. It's possible that the two indications are connected to each other. Magnetars are believed to be a possible source of fast radio bursts, but the links haven't always been clear. Magnetars are extremely magnetic neutron stars, some of which sometimes generate radio emission. Known magnetars rotate every few seconds, but theoretically, ultra-long period magnetars could rotate much more deliberately. Magnetars are also a type of dead star, or neutron star, that has burned up all its fuel and fallen down into a very thick spinning object with a strong magnetic field. Magnetars are generally found only in areas where new stars are being born, but fast radio bursts have been observed away from stellar nurseries, sometimes in areas where there are only old stars. In their study, Hurley Walker and her friends found that the newly observed object seems to be spinning much more slowly than other magnetars, which could suggest that it has outlived other magnetars that generally last only a few thousand years. According to Masui, if this object is a magnetar, that could mean that at least some kinds of magnetars can survive much longer than we believe they could. That could solve the thorn in the side of the magnetar hypothesis for fast radio bursts. However, Hurley Walker said it could also be a totally new type of cosmic object that resulted in the flashes of energy. However, the object seemed to be inactive at the moment. She hopes to continue to monitor the Milky Way with other radio telescopes and X-ray observatories in the hope of finding others like it. Building a book of similar incidents could help researchers understand how they came to be. 
She said because we didn't want this kind of radio emission to be possible, the fact that it exists tells us that some sort of extreme physical processes must be happening. What's your take on this? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. With that being said, it's time to end our today's video. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace out!